I felt a lot of sympathy for um, Captain Schwager, um, the captain of the U-boat that uh, sank the Lusitania. Um, he was, first of all, um, uh, said to be a very nice guy. One of his friends in the submarine service said of him that he, he wouldn't hurt a fly. And then, of course, in retrospect, you wonder what, what does that apply to? Um, but he was a very nice guy, a very charismatic uh, uh, captain. His crew loved him, um, and he and his crew put up with miserable conditions in, in that submarine. They faced death every moment from an array of, of, of forces and directions, not just the British Navy. In fact, that was probably the, 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 the least dangerous element of their, their patrol. Um, there are, uh, it, it, anything could happen in a submarine. You, you could, a hatch could malfunction. Um, uh, you could be struck in the night by, by a, an ocean liner. Um, anything could happen to the crew of a, of a submarine. And they lived in close quarters with the stench of, you know, day-old onions and, and, and the, the one lavatory. And it was just, just a horror. So how can you not feel sympathetic for them, you know, on, on some level? And in fact, I, I hope, I hope that, that you know, I, I try to go with what a story delivers. You can't, you can't create heroes in, in, uh, in uh, nonfiction. You can't create villains. Um, you have to go with, with what the historical record gives you, with the nuance. And it's nuance that makes people and stories interesting. And Schweiger was a very nuanced character. He was a warm, humane guy who happened to kill 2,000 people at the push of a button.